I'll get it. It's sunny in Scotland! Nom 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 nom. Sorry, that was probably quite excessive. It started raining. What's happening? Drew Tube is back again today and I'm bailing some straw this week. Coming up, hey, there's going to be the whole roof of the shed arriving and the whole of this week it's going to be going like hell. They're going to be putting up most of the shed this week I would have said. That's what they told me anyway. If not, they were lying. Absolute shite bags if they were. But, no. Maggie, stop it. Somehow I'm chasing a sheep. I don't know how a sheep got in here. It's not mine. We don't have sheep, but we are. In other news, it's sunny in Scotland. What the hell? I'm no used to this. It's quite warm. I think it's just above 20 degrees at the moment. And for those of you that think that's not warm, stuff is. This isn't normal for us. 16 degrees is hot. 13 at a push. <laughs> Taps half weather, 16 to 18 degrees, this is getting hot. <laughs> this hill is actually quite light uh, on the headlands with the straw, so at the moment I am just hooring around getting straw in the baler and uh, popping out random bales here and there, but aye, we're not doing too well. But Dad has combined the first, I dare say, Oh, there we go, there's a bale happening now. I'll need to angle this because if I get this wrong, it's going to go down that gully down there. Um, that should be about right, eh? Oh, if not, I'll make a good video of a bale disappearing into yonder. And I think we're safe. But anyway, Dad has combined this whole hill. He's combined the first field in the bottom and now he is over yonder. Let's see if I can get this thing to use its zoom function. That field there. He's just disappeared behind the trees in the bottom corner. But that is the next field and it's actually a really heavy crop so we're fairly pleased now because it wasn't looking all the best but I think that is going to be the case for a lot of people this year because of the weather we've had I think things in general are just going to be lighter it was so wet, so so wet the barley got sewered out, it was all yellow for long enough and then we had to top dress it with some uh, fertiliser to get it going again this field here on the left, the silage field at the bottom of this hill it was actually looking very green because it rained that much it kind of rinsed the barley field into it so it was looking very good so ah, that's probably why this hill is not looking the best but other bits of it far far better crop but quite a bit of it was light so I think we're sitting about 50 acres in uh, maybe just under that of harvest so we've got another 50 odd to go uh, maybe slightly more um, but yeah boosting on so next time you see me we will be unloading or I'll be watching the shed roof getting unloaded and uh, we'll get a time lapse and whatnot of the roof going on because these boys aren't here to mess about things are just happening when it's uh, you, you would have seen my last video with the shed just going up the hill. One minute it was down and the next thing it was fully erected, you know. sitting about 20k. Ho oh, oh, ho, this baler goes like hell. Woohoo! Num 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 num.
<laughs> All right, so what seems to have happened? Uh, well, I was bailing and then I was racing the rain. If you watch my Instagram or TikTok, you would have seen me horsing on with that. New bailer goes really well. Uh, <laughs> going very, very fast. Uh, then it rained. Uh, the shed roof hasn't arrived yet. I think the wood's arriving today. Uh, Apex is... I don't know what's happened, but it's getting painted or something. So, it's taking a while to come. Uh, quite annoying, but Dad's away this morning, so I'm here to shot the combine! <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, that was probably quite excessive. Hey, but aye, Dad's away, so I'm getting a shot of the combine to keep it going. I've got the jump leads with me because it's been acting up a wee bit. Eh? The old Dominator. Uh, the batteries, I don't know if it's a char. Eh, alternator or whatnot, but aye, uh, <coughs> uh, it could be the battery. But hey ho, she works when you get it going. So, not got an awful lot left. I've got this wee field down the bottom here, and then one wee field across the top, and then I think 25 acre down the road, so. Aye, we're on the home straight-ish. Just need to keep it going though, you know? So, gonna combine this, get some footage for you, and then Hopefully the next video I get will be the shed roof going on. Uh, that'll be bloody good to see, so they're a wee bit delayed with that. Unfortunately, I was really wanting to see it go up this week. But here we are! Here we go, here we go. Let's hope you decide to work today. Who needs a Mercedes when your combine's a Mercedes? Let's get going! Yes, yeah, it's very old and rustic. Aye. Ah, oh, come on. I'll get it. No, we're not. Ah, ah. Oh, what a beautiful day it is to get on with your combine. And yes, yes, yes. But that's f that. Turns out it's something really stupid. The drum lever was right back, but it wasn't back enough. So. When I got frustrated there and rattled it back and forward and then tried the key, it started first bloody time. Oh, one of these levers down there. So that started. And uh, hey, I'm really annoyed. Really pissed off that uh, that's all it was. But, Thankfully, that's all it was. So here we are, finally going. And now I've choked it straight away. Oh, stop beating. And that's why you need to keep an eye on the bit the table of the combine. Just in case it starts to shove, as Dad calls it, and uh, the barley gets stuck on the table. And uh, yeah, it starts making a mess. And then you could end up with a big lump of soil going through the combine, and then your day turns into an absolute shitter. And yeah, finally getting a wee go. I repeat, finally. I'm really annoyed. <laughs> Roughly a full tank, so uh, I'm going to empty it because it's struggling down the bottom there. Uh, just going up over the bray with a heavy tank, so just going to empty it there now before uh, there's any problems. Beautiful. What are you thinking, dog? Eh? 
feeling spits of rain, but that's not going to stop me now. I think that was roughly six rows I'd done. And that was it. Pretty much full. So, I'll do roughly that again. So, Something's went through the combine and choked it going through the concave. So, never had to do anything like that before. This is my first experience with this. So, I phoned Dad. Uh, and as you can see, it started raining. So, that's the day gupped. Tremendous. This is our way of moving the concave. So Take the ball off the top, get the PTO shaft on. There we go. Right, and adjust the concave down. Repin. And uh, try. I stole it. <laughs> Concave's not open enough. Not doing very well here. Maybe I need to gently do it. Or have the revs up. I'll need to phone Dad and find out. Is the revs to be right up or not? Ah, oh, it's nearly on the floor. Right, I'll get another try. Right, that's fine. If none of this works, I need to take a panel off under the cab here and start pulling straw out the drum. <laughs> oh no! It wasn't even that much, it just bang stopped. So I wonder if something's went in it. Well, I'm just going to say that's all, folks, because I need to get in amongst all this. If... <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed today's terrible video. <laughs> we'll see you all next time. <laughs> ah, fuck!